Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. I was worried nobody was here at eight, so I, I was thinking everybody's at the beach or something. <laughs> but it's good to see you. So uh, this is the class of tonight. Uh, and uh, tonight we have to do the exercise uh, 211. Is that one. Remember that at the end is account. Uh, it's not accountant. So it's a mistake. That, but that would be it. Also, please remember that by the end of this week, we need to finish the unit two and the midterm test. That is very important for Friday, please. Okay. We are going to check the attendance. Ana Claudia Gonzalez yeah. Velasquez. Yes, teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Very good. All right, we're going to start with a video. So it's about the business plans. And uh, let's check into that one. Then uh, we're going to provide comments on that one. So here we go. The thought of starting up a business can be an exciting time for many people. How to write a business plan is among the very first decisions you, as a future business owner, must make. Do you write it yourself or give in to the temptation to take an easier path? By taking ownership of this first, most important step in building your business, you will gain far more than a crisp document to be read by others. You will develop a deep understanding of what it will take your business to succeed. For this reason, it is essential that the business owner will be the primary thought leader or sole author of the business plan. Wait, what is the business plan? Business plan is a researched and refined document that help you to get business loan, raise equity funding, can define and fix business objectives, get review of your business idea, agreements between partners, set a value on a business for sale or legal purposes, evaluate a new product line, unique selling proposition, promotion, and expansion. If you are approaching a banker for a loan for a startup business, your loan officer may suggest a small business administration loan, which will require a business plan. A business plan is simply a plan of what your goals are for the business and how you plan to go about accomplishing them. Some people refer to it as a vision for your business. I like to refer to it as a blueprint or a roadmap to accomplishing your goals. According to business experts, Business plan will identify the purpose of your business, company description, business goals, structure, product or services, required resources, financial plan with financial statements, business management, and operation. Now, the big question comes in our mind is, how to write a business plan? Experts agree that a business plan is crucial if you want to develop a quality strategy for your company. The size and niche of your operation does not matter. You need to learn how to write a business plan regardless. Let us explain 10 steps on how to write an effective business plan for your business. Step 1. Write an executive summary. 
A poorly written executive summary is often the reason why you don't find investors for your business. No matter how qualified your team and you are, no matter how great the business idea, you should include in your executive summary all major information about your planned business in a concise, clear manner. Do not write your executive summary for yourself. Write it for your readers. Ask yourself who are those people? What's their educational backgrounds? What information really matters for them or what information is most likely to influence a positive decision? Limit the executive summary to one or three pages. Deliver a physically attractiveness and uniqueness. Clearly state what you expect from the investor. Simply state the returns and exit planned for the total project. Compellingly state the top two or three selling points of your investment proposition. Your executive summary doesn't require a full pro forma. Instead, give a simple statement of expected income, expenses, and anticipated income and cash flows. Finally, provide the total capital needed and a summary of the return projections. Step 2. Business Description A good business description will make your work a lot easier as you travel the road to starting your business. When you write a formal plan with the hope of qualifying for a business loan or attracting investors, you need to let them know that you know what you are doing. Your business description first and foremost must meet the expectations that your customers have when they walk through your doors. Get inside their heads. What do they want? If they are looking for something specific, you can bet there is something else related to it that they want as well. Understand them, offer what they want, and then break it down what it will take to provide it. The business description section of a business plan should include information about the legal structure of a business, how the business came to be formed, the type of business, location of your business, types of business conducted, like internet sales, storefronts, mail order, etc., and what products and services you will provide to your customers and clients. Step 3. Operations Plan Operational plan is a necessity of every new business to get good results. In order to write an operation plan, you need to include Cash flow forecasting to project cash position of company Profit plan preparation for future development Flexible budget Break-even analysis Variance report to ensure control of expenses Executive review daily, weekly, and monthly Management meeting Weekly position report for company Mission statement Strategic team operating plan Organization structure Delegation of authority to outline the principles Position guide development Hiring procedure Performance evaluations Progressive discipline Employee compensation Profit-based incentive system Operation plan is simply a technique of probing into the present and past performance of an operational investment. It measures the performance against particular standard costs, operations, and services. It also considers how goals can be achieved in a better way, how cost-effectively they can be achieved. Step 4. Organization and Management Organizational structure details about the ownership of the company, who is part of the management team, and who are the board members. In addition to who the board members are, you will need to describe why they were chosen to be a part of the board. Here you should include a chart describing the organizational structure, which includes the managers, employees, and other important point persons of the business. Within this organizational chart, each managerial position should list the name of the person, the position, primary responsibilities, education, who they manage, special skills, number of years with the company, and prior employment. Step 5. Legal Structure of Your Business there are four legal structures and it depends on you as to which one you would like for your new business. 1. Sole Proprietorship This is the kind of business structure that has only one owner, which in this case is you. You decide on things, you have the last say on everything. 2. Partnerships Two or more owners of the same business may file for partnership status. This type of business structure is very similar to the sole proprietorship. All partners are held financially responsible for the debts of the business and tax burden is borne proportionally by the partners. 3. A corporation Corporations can have many structures. 
but the most typical corporation organizational structure consists of the one board of directors, two officers, three employees, and four shareholders or owners. There is no limit. Your corporation can have as many as are desirable or expedient to do business. 4. Limited Liability Corporations Like a corporation, a limited liability company, or LLC, is a separate and distinct legal entity. This means that an LLC can get a tax identification number, open a bank account, and do business, all under its own name. Step 6. Products and Services Using a business plan to outline what products will be produced or sold, or what services are offered, is a wonderful way to communicate information to others. This section should highlight biggest sellers, unique products or services that your business provides, and give a description about your items. This section will show the heart of your business and what you are offering to the public. Step 7. Marketing and Sales Strategy by developing a marketing and sales strategy, you understand the type of clients you are going for by developing a strategy to approach those clients to buy your products or services. You must understand your demographics so you can develop a proper strategy that will work. If you are a real estate agent, your target would be anyone that's selling or buying a home. That's your demographics. You would plan your strategy based on areas where buying and selling homes are active. There are four things to add into your sales and marketing strategy. 1. Write your sales and marketing goals and milestones per month or year. 2. Define your target customer profiles and your marketing strategies. What forms of communication do you plan to use to market to customers? Print, radio, internet, or viral campaigns. All forms of advertising should be discussed in depth. 3. Set up success oriented revenue targets. 4. Develop an action plan to implement your sales and marketing strategy. Step 8. Competitive Analysis Do competitive analysis to perform better. Competitive analysis can depend on four major factors. 1. Categorizing the competitors. It is necessary for the management to categorize the top 10 companies in the market who seem stronger and larger than their company. 2. Analyzing their promotional strategy. Competitors these days utilize hundreds of ways to promote their products or services. The management needs to get deep into these promotional strategies of top 10 companies. 3. Competitors' products analysis. The management needs to evaluate the competitors' products and services from different aspects like product features, product values, and targets taken by the competitors. 4. Competitors' Advantageous Aspects Once the competitors are categorized, the management can start to evaluate their strategies and spot the most vulnerable areas of the competitors. This can be done through an assessment of the competitors' weaknesses and strengths. The best method for understanding competitors' weaknesses and strengths is implementing SWOT analysis. A SWOT represents strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It is a tool used to provide a general or detailed snapshot of a company's health. Write about competitors' strengths. Which areas they are weak and strong? Is there any future possibilities to beat your competitors? Also, write down threats of your competitors like legal issues, business policies, and other personal issues. Step 9. Unique Selling Proposition So what is your unique selling proposition? What differentiates your offering to the marketplace? What combination of features will your customers find benefit them more than your competitors' offerings? If you're a distributor or manufacturer, can you deliver complete orders faster than your competitors, allowing your customers to keep less inventory? If you're in financial services or real estate, do you have some special education or experience that your clients would find valuable if they knew about it? Do you have so much confidence in your product or service that you can offer your customers a performance guarantee others can't or won't match? Can your customers call in and speak with a real human being on the fourth ring, or better, 98% of the time? Making working with your business an exceptionally pleasant experience? You get the idea. Write down USP for your product or services. And Step 10. Financial Plan Financial planning is paramount to the success of any company, 
whether that business is just starting up or well established. The first steps to business finance startup are to determine and estimate the amount of funds needed to open a business. These startup expenses may include one-time fees, such as permits and licenses needed to operate the business. Initial costs may also include ongoing fees, such as rent and utility payments. Business owners usually only include the necessary expenses when determining the total cost to start up. In order to estimate the amount of funds needed for the business, owners should set up worksheets that list each expense and how much it costs. Make your business plan clear and concise where appropriate. And always be thinking of a what-if situation in every part of the plan. After all, the reader will be, if you answer the question before it can be asked, that's the best way to convincing your audience that you are serious, realistic, and can adapt and overcome. Let your business plan become the blueprint that you can work to in the first 12 months of your business. If you found this video helpful, then share this video with your business. Okay, my friends, what did you get from this one? I mean, you can see that this is very complete and a kind of different, right? So what what would be what would it be that? Uh, what are the differences between this and the things that we have checked already? I, I don't know. Chitrar, uh, many sections that we don't see, like that one, the SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, not only for, for our business, but from competitors. It's important to know them. And the uh, legal or the proper proprietor chip or proper chip or something like that proper chip what is the the way that you are taking your business is uh, only one proper chip or a partnership or something like that a company and uh, there is things that uh, we don't see in the previews and uh, maybe as you say it's uh, more complete and more details for something maybe more specific, more uh, maybe bigger, something like that. I think there are many sections, new sections, and, and uh, important, important, or <laughs> everything is important. That uh, if we don't know, the, we need to know the product the business and the market that we are going into and the customers and many of that things that is important. Okay, very good, perfect. Yeah, yeah, many uh, new things here. So, and some of those that you uh, already told us, I mean, those are part of important. It's very extensive, this one, but uh, well, uh, any other any other comments, any other opinion on this video? No, other. okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a very complete uh, way. We have read a lot about this, and this actually has more. Uh, at the very beginning of this unit, uh, actually it says that there are many templates, right? So, uh, yeah, you can take one from pieces of this and pieces of the other one, so everything works the way that you need. This, I believe, is one of the most complete I have found. Um, Maybe for you, if in the future you would like to to build a uh, a real business plan, I guess this is something that we can follow, right? Maybe we can remove some things or add some other things depending on what exactly we want to represent. But this is a very complete one. So remember that for the homework, I mean, you don't have to have something that big. So. If you do three or three slides uh, with different things, that will be good enough. I mean, yesterday we checked only one plan in almost the two hours of class. So, of course, that's not good. So, we are going to have like five, seven minutes for this. Good. Um, now we're going to go back to the book. We need to move on to that one.
Okay, and it says how to use capital letters part two. So, just look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Uh, let's see. Marcus, could you please help me reading this chart? Okay. Uh, look to use capital letter part two. Uh, use an initial capital letter for days, month, and holidays. Uh, example, Christmas and the Independence Day, Labor Day, Valentine's Day, etc. The business plan presents the launching of new products will be in April. Uh, the bank recommends making an appointment next th Thursday to find out if the loan was approved. Second, use an initial capital letter for name of country, cities, and region. Example, United States of America, Buenos Aires, Asia, the Midwest, etc. Um, the business plan of entrepre entrepreneurs will revise yesterday they, they plan to come to South America in 2025. Uh, third, when using abbreviation, provide the complete term and use an initial capital letter for each of words the first time you used it. Then write the abbreviation in parentheses the first time. Uh, in a partnership or a multi-member limited liability company, LLC, the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, taxes member, not the business, unless the LLC files tax form and 2243 to request to file as an ECS. As and S-Corp. Very good, perfect, thank you. So, uh, yes, this is the second part on how to use capital letters. This part, I believe, is very, very similar to the ones that we use in Spanish. Anyways, we're gonna check. So the first one, it says, uh, use an initial capital letters for days. That is different, I mean, in Spanish, you can write days in lowercase, but not in capital letters. But in English, yes. I mean, Monday and everything like that is in capital letters. Month, holidays. So, for example, Christmas, Independence Day, a Labor Day that is coming, right? May 1st, Valentine's Day, etc. Uh, that is an example. The business plan presents the launching of the new product will be in April. So, April is with capital letter. The bank recommended making an appointment next Thursday to find out if the loan was approved. Thursday, it has to be with capital letter. Number two it says use an initial capital letter for names of countries, cities, and regions. Example given, the United States of America, Buenos Aires, Asia, the Midwest, etc. I guess this is very clear. The business plan of the entrepreneurs were revised yesterday's state they plan to expand to South America in 2025. Okay. Uh, number three, when using abbreviations, provide the complete term and use an initial capital letter for each of the words the first time you use it. Then write the abbreviation in parentheses the first time. So, yeah, this is something very important in English. In a partnership of multi-member limited liability company, LLC, the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, taxes members, not the business, unless the LLC files tax form 2243 to request to file as an escort. Okay, so I guess it's kind of uh, the same as in Spanish. Maybe the days of the... Uh, of the weekend also maybe the uh, months of the year are the ones that are different but other than that everything is kind of the same okay do you have any questions here about this chart no teacher. Sure. 
to share your questions. Very good, perfect. So, um, yeah, let me just check something I was going to ask you. Uh, um, uh, yeah, what is, do you know what is the internal revenue service? The IRS, very famous. It seems the organization that uh, take the taxes of the business or or the companies in the U.S. Very good. That is it. So, uh, yes, it's going to be like Ministerio de Hacienda here in El Salvador, right? That, uh, for example, this month you have to present the the rent, right? So, well, yes. I had to pay a lot of money, anyways. Uh, and uh, this is the same in the U.S. Of course, the the laws for that one, the way they do things is totally different. Uh, but yeah, uh, there is a a saying there in English that only taxes and death are for sure are for granted. So yeah, they always come after you, and that is happening in Salvador as well. So they are looking for money right now. All right. Very good. If you don't have any question, then we're going to do the exercise here. So it says read the excerpts from, uh, below and correct 12 mistakes related to the use of capital letters shown in the box above. So we have uh, three paragraphs. They are the paragraphs. Yeah, I guess this is something that you made already, but we're going to provide you some uh, time so you can find that one okay so i will give you a few minutes for you to finish that one uh, and uh, then we're gonna check together
Okay, have you finished already or do you need more time? I guess you finished. Okay. 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 <laughs> I need more time, but okay, okay, don't worry. No, don't worry. I can I can give you more time. No, no worries about it. So I'm gonna give you more. <laughs> My my computer is uh, slower now. I have problem. I write the computer. No worries, no worries. So slow. <laughs>
Okay, have you finished or do you need more time? Finished. Very well. Okay, let's check. On the first paragraph, that's about updating a business plan. Uh, what would be the first one? The first correction. I think the month, teacher. The month? January. January. Okay. The word January. Ah, uh, okay. The month you say. Okay, January, right? January. Yes. January. May. Okay. May. May. January, May, and June, December. and December. June and December. Very good. That was kind of easy, right? <laughs> what about the second paragraph? A uh, small business administration SBA. Very good. Small business administration. What else? And certified public accountant. Very good. Certified public. Uh, it this has to be account, but it's accountant here. Uh, and that's it, right? Uh, is there any other here? I uh, think after the period. After the, the no, 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 no. It's not in the one. Okay. Oh, it's okay. All right. So, and uh, what about the third paragraph? Um, so of France. French. France. Uh, actually, south of France. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, south of France. And what else? Any other? It's the perfect and uh, it's. Uh, I'm sorry, which one? And the second line. And uh, the pro this is EM. This it's, one. Yes. I see. Mm, what do you think about that one? After the column? No. Yes. I'm sorry? Okay. Yeah, that sometimes that depends. Depends on many things. Sometimes it's, it can goes. I mean, uh, it can go like uh, lowercase. Sometimes it can go in uppercase. So, let me see. Yeah, I guess that will be it. Um, taking advantage, taking advantage of these paragraphs that we have right now. What we're gonna do is we're going to do a second part of the exercise that is not on the book. This is what we are going to do. We are going to read. The paragraphs fast fast but you need to i mean say the words i mean everybody has to understand the words it's not that you're going to say as another problem no right so it's going to be fast but in a way that everybody understands for example uh let me give it a shot i don't know if it's going to be good so it says and the first one as an oil plant marches through the mouth you can use the table reserve for actual resourcing to changes in body that affects the near future for example, if the annual plan starts in January, then by the end of May, you have an actual sales forecast that includes actual resources for the first semester and the latest revised forecast for June through December. Something like that, okay? So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to practice in your mind. Uh, if you have a, a question about pronunciation, you can ask me, okay? And then... We are not going to read all, all the paragraphs. You are going to read one paragraph. The problem is that you don't know which paragraph you are going to read, right? So I'm going to go first. Uh, this person, it goes with the first paragraph, the next person with the second, the next one with the third. So check all the paragraphs, practice in your mind, or close the microphone and practice. And if you have a question about uh, pronunciation, uh, of course, you can ask me. And then we're going to read. I want to listen to you and check the way that you read fast. Do you have any questions about the activity? Clear as a chata. <laughs> Okay, if you have questions, let me know. I will give you, let's say, around five, seven minutes for you to practice in your mind. And then we will go one by one reading the paragraph as fast as you can. 
but in an understandable way. I mean, it's not, it's not a tongue twister that you, I mean, it's not a competition. The competition is with yourself. All right. So practice. And if you have questions, I will be here about pronunciation. <clears throat> Teacher, you said that we write uh, a paragraph about any any topic or a specific topic. Well, you are not going. Are. Yeah, you are not going to write. You are going to read any of read. these three paragraphs very fast. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So that's that's the activity. You are going to come, for example. Uh, let's say that you are going to read the first one. It has to be the way that I read. It. As you know, apply much through the months, you can use the table itself for actual results to include changes in budget that affect the new future. For okay. example, if the annual plan starts in January, then by the end of May, you have an actual sales forecast that includes actual results for the first semester and the latest revised forecast for June through December. Fast. That is okay. it. Of course, okay. there might be any questions on pronunciation. If you have questions, let me know. Practice the three paragraphs because you don't know okay. which one you're gonna read. Okay. Okay.
Okay, did you finish uh, practicing? Do you need more time? Yes, right. teacher. Very well. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Remember that it has to be the fastest that you can. Um, uh, if you want to give it a shot one or two times, that is fine. Uh, and uh, we need to understand the words. That is it. I mean, that is the only thing. So sometimes, you know, Whenever we're speaking with people from other countries, they sometimes they speak very fast and they don't open the mouth very much. That is because, I mean, it's the same thing. Whenever you're fluent in English, you sometimes you don't open the mouth very much. Uh, and that makes you speak a little bit faster. So that is a, something that happens. But sometimes it's kind of difficult to understand because they are speaking so fast and they are using some vocabulary or some words that maybe we do not understand. Uh, and that makes sometimes doubt on what they are talking about. But that's what we're going to do this this exercise tonight. So uh, let's start with David. David, you are going to read the first paragraph. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. About updating a business plan. As an annual plan march through the month, you can use the table reserver for actual results to include changes in the budget that affect the future. For example, if the annual plan starts in January, day by the end of May, you have an actual sales forecast that includes actual results for the first semester and the latest releases forecast for June through December. Very good, very nice, perfect. So it was very, very good. Um, let's check next to Steve. You are going to read the second paragraph. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, about getting professional help to write a business plan. USS, US Small Business Administration, SBA, is a terrific resource for getting you through your process of writing business plan. While you can easily learn how to write a business plan you, yourself, you will still benefit 
from having someone else to read through your plan and your mail still need an outside system, such as a certificate, public accountant, CPA to grade your financial document or and our market research film development studies about your markets. Okay, very good, very nice, <clears throat> very fast. The next one is going to be uh, Juan Miguel. Okay, okay, okay. About following up on a great business idea. When I moved to the south of France last summer, I immediately fell in, fell in love with the gorgeous coastline, the, the upscale crowd and the chic lifestyle. And I had a revelation. It's the perfect place to launch a concierge company. I did some research and discovered none of the existing companies were able to match my ideas and service standards. Okay, very good, very nice. Let's check uh, for the first paragraph, uh, Roxana. Okay. About opening a business plan. As an annual plan March throughout the month, you can use the table reserve for annual reserve to include change, changes in a budget that affect the near future. For example, if the annual plan starts in January, then by the end of May, you have an annual sales forecast that includes actual results for the first semester and the last provide forecast for film from December. All right, very nice, very fast. Thank you. Next one is going to be for Fernando Marvin. Okay, about getting professional help to write a business plan. The U.S. Small Business Administration, SBA, is a terrific resource for guiding you through the process of writing a business plan. When you can easily learn how to write a business plan yourself, you will still benefit from having someone else read through your plan, and you may still need outside assistance, such as a certified public accountant, CPA, to create your financial document and our market research firm to develop statistics about your markets. Very good. I really liked it. So it was very fast and pronunciation was very good nice uh, the uh, next paragraph is going to be for Dora Elizabeth it's uh, about following up a great business idea when I moved to the south of France last summer I immediately fell in love with the Georgia's coastal line the arts Carl Crown and the Chick Lifestyle, and I had a revelation. It's a the perfect place to launch a concert company. I did some research and I discovered that the existing companies were able to match my ideas and service standards. Very good, very nice, very fast, perfect. Next one, the first one is going to be for Jose Osmin. Not possible for me. Okay. Uh, Wendy Patricia then. Not possible for Wendy. Uh, Marcus. The first. Yes, please. Okay. About a, a business plan. As an annual plan marches to the moment, you can use the table reserve for actual results to include changes and budget that affect in the future. For example, if the annual plan starts in January, then by the end of May, you have an actual sales forecast that includes actual results for the first semester and latest received forecast for June through December. Okay, very good. That was very nice, very fast, and very understandable. Nice. The next one is going to be for Fernando Ernesto. Okay. Uh, about getting professional help to write a business plan. The U.S. Small Business Administration, SBA, is a terrific resource for guiding you through the process of writing a business plan. While you can easily learn how to write a business plan yourself, you will still benefit from having someone else, else read through your plan, and you may still need outside assistance, such as certificate, certificate public accountant, CPA, to create your financial documents and or a market research for research for to develop st statistics about your markets. Nice, very good. That was very fast as well and very understandable. Nice, nice. The next one uh, is going to be for Giselle. The third, right? The third, yeah. Okay. About... Yeah. When I moved to the south of 
friends last summer, I immediately fell in love with the gorgeous coastline, the upscale crowd, and the chic lifestyle. And I had a revelation. It's the perfect place to launch a concierge company. company. I did some research and discovered none of the existing companies were able to match my ideas and service standards. Very good. Very nice. Very fast. Very good. Let's see William Alexander. Okay. About updating a business plan, as an annual plan marches through the months, you can use the table itself for actual results to include changes in the budget that affect the near future. For example, if the annual plan is starting in January, then by the end of May, you have an exercise forecast that includes actual results for the first semester and the latest service forecast for June to December. Okay, very good, very fast, very nice. Yeah, very happy. You are very fast now. Uh, the next one is going to be for Anna Claudia. Okay. About getting professional help to build a business plan, the U.S. Small Business Administration, SBA, is such a terrific resource for guiding you through the process of creating a business plan. While you can easily learn how to build a business plan yourself, you will still benefit from having someone else read through your plan, and you may still need outside assistance, such as certified public accountant, CPA, to create your financial document, and or a market research firm to develop statistics about your markets. Perfect. That was amazing. <laughs> very good. Yeah. You know, pronunciation and the pauses that you made were very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> good. Let's see who's missing. Francisco Eduardo. Not possible. Uh, Hello, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Very good. Yeah, uh, it's going to be the last one. Okay, teacher. Give me a sec. Of course. Okay, it is uh, about following, following up on a great business idea, right? Yep. Okay. When I moved to the south of France last summer, I immediately fell in love with the gorgeous coastline, the upscale crow, and the chic lifestyle. And I have a relation. It is the perfect place to launch a concierge company. I did some research and discover now the existing companies were able to match my ideas and service standards. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, it's missing Jarvin, Isaac. Not possible. And let me check. I guess everybody else has did it, right? All right. So how did you feel this exercise? What are your comments about that? Pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah, when any, uh, I mean, when somebody says you, you need to do this in this way, sometimes you are under pressure. Sometimes that is good because it pressures you but you are able to see what you are capable to do, right? Sometimes we don't do it because, I mean, we don't have the need, but under pressure, sometimes we are able to, to see that we can actually do things, right? Very good. Any other comment uh, on the exercise? We need this. Yeah, we need this kind of exercise more often. Okay, yeah, we can do that one. I mean, we can do some other things here. <laughs> uh, David, you were saying something. Yes, yes. Sorry, Fernando. Uh, it is important. It's a good practice because uh, when we need to read fast and to get a good pronunciation and, and to maintain the breath, <laughs> I don't know, fell in the middle of the, the line. It is a, a challenge and it, it is important. We need to learn as a, as a teacher, you need to speak a lot. And if you can manage your breath, you are in, uh, have a difficult time. Yeah. yeah, that is true. Yeah, that is, I mean, yeah, with the teachers, with the ones that are in front of people or that people that work in front of other people speaking all day long, sometimes we are able to uh, even when you don't know, to use some strategies and methods so you are able to, to speak in different ways. So that's good. 
Okay, uh, in general, it was very good. You can see that, of course, we are in different levels, right? Um, I uh, recommend, for first of all, not to compare with other people. Compare with yourself. Yes, it's a competition, but not with others. It's a competition with you. So that means that if you want to improve something or achieve something, uh, check where you are right now and then set a goal, like the business plan, right? The business plan tells you where we are right now and where we want to be in one year, in three years. And then just imagine the steps for you to go there. This one is a good exercise, but this is something that you can actually do yourself. I mean, you can say, I'm going to read this paragraph very fast and see how it goes. So uh, it's something that we can do at any time. Whenever you have the time, you will be able to do it. Uh, sometimes what happens is that we are not sure about some things. Whenever we have a doubt on one word that you don't know or uh, the pronunciation of one word, sometimes that makes it stop, right? So if that happens, it's because that word, the pronunciation or the way that you say something, um, sometimes we don't know exactly. In this case, for example, there were some mistakes in pronunciation. Uh, and when you speak fast, I mean, you can see those gaps, you can fill those gaps because if, if you are speaking with somebody and they're speaking very fast and they are using some words that you don't know or you don't understand, they lost some time. They, they lose all the ideas. So that's why this is a very important part. So pronunciation, again, is very, very important. And uh, I mean, you can do that in videos. Nowadays, there is a lot of technology. For example, imagine that you watch a video. YouTube video, not that long, five minutes, something like that. Uh, you can extract the the uh, words from the video. I mean, there are tools where you can go and upload the video and it's going to tell you the words and you can record your voice and compare. So there are many things that we can do. Uh, and there are things that, I mean, now that we're going to finish, we're going to finish the whole thing, you need to continue doing so yes, you know a lot. You know uh, you are in a in the advanced level, but you can you can improve. You can go further, and for that you just need to practice. Imagine where you want to be uh, when you see a movie, when you watch a video, um, and see somebody speaking, and you say, "Oh, I want to speak like that." Then try to to check what will be the steps for you to achieve that goal. That will be it. Everybody can speak very fast. Everybody can speak very well. Everybody can speak very nice. And nobody can do that perfectly. I mean, even the American people, they sometimes they do some mistakes, right? I mean, that happens. We're human. But the most that you practice, as in uh, anything, the better that you go going. So that is a very important part. Good. Any questions before we move on? All right, so this is what we're going to do the next uh, Friday, right? Uh, I have a question for you. Do you have already your uh, your business plan? Have you downloaded that one, created something? Do you have at least the idea in your mind what you're going to do? Yes, I have the idea. I have, uh, I, I told you the last day that I write the executive summary uh, according to my ideas, and uh, and uh, I had my my problem is how to sell this, how to make the units, make the the part that uh, uh, I need to sell is the the value proposal something like that. Is an there is my my my. My difficult part there that I, but I, I am dealing with that part, but I think I have an idea. Very well, very good. Okay, so we're going to do an exercise for you to practice. Please do it in English. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some benchmarking. Do you remember that? Uh, whenever we check about the competency. <laughs> and here, I mean, you are classmates, you are not the competency, but we can take advantage of that one. So we're going to go to the breakout rooms and we're going to uh, discuss on what are our ideas. 
you are going to tell your idea for the homework for Friday. So uh, the other people, they can provide you some ideas, some feedback. You should do this. You should do the other way. Or do you believe that this idea might work? Uh, something like that. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to, in group, get together and check what you can do in this one. Okay. Uh, any questions with the activity that we're going to do right now? No teacher. It's okay. okay. So this is a very good idea because we're going to be able to share before you actually present. Uh, it's sometimes a very good idea to to ask for opinions, right? What do you think about this? Do you believe it's going to work? Do you believe this is something that we can do? Or if you have questions, sometimes, I mean, I know that sometimes you don't ask questions. I believe that we're friends and we are confident, but that happens. Sometimes you say, oh, I'm not going to ask that. So this is the chance for you to ask. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now. I'm going to give you around seven minutes for you to discuss this one. And let's see how it goes, okay? Let me see here. All right, here we go. I have two devices, teacher. Okay, no worries. If you are uh, enjoying one and leave the other outside, that won't be any problem, okay? Okay.
Okay, hello everybody, welcome back. So we are not going to share what you discuss or anything like that because I mean, that is the purpose is to listen to your presentation next Friday. But I hope you shared a best practices and that you got uh, different ideas from the other people or at least that you practice English, right? So I hope that happens. So, okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> It was an accident. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I hope that happens. So, the most important here is that you you learn sometimes, you know, sometimes we learn from a classmate, and that is a very important thing. So, whenever we share some information, yeah, that is amazing because you are able to. Very good. So, we have a few more minutes, and we're going to do free practice. Yeah. So, I know that you really like to speak in English. So, who wants to be the first one to practice? I want to be, but I need to connect my computer because give me a couple of minutes. Of course, I, let's do something. I, I, I'm going I, to start. I, I, I agree. I'm going to start with other. Oh, well, he left, so I have to wait. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we can start with somebody else's, and then uh, we're gonna listen to David. Anybody else wants to be the first one? Oh, he here he comes. I don't know. Use an alphabet order. I'm sorry? Use an alphabet order. Yeah, maybe, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I really like to ask who wants to, because sometimes there are people that they really want. Okay. Who? Um? I will. I will. Okay, perfect. Let's speak with Jose <laughs> with Fredo first. So, hello, how are you? So far, so good, teacher. Very nice. It was a really good day today. Nice. Well, it's a really good day because didn't finish. Yeah, that is true. So we're still here. We're still practicing. So that is a very nice thing. So, so what made special this day? Can you please share? Uh yeah, because I saw my family and I share a good time with them, and also I work, and a lot of people uh, wants uh, to have a work. And I have it. So that's why. That is so true. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, we are surrounded by magical people and magical things. And we don't know, right? So, but it's yeah. very good that you are aware on that one. I mean, yeah, we we are here. Uh, we're still here and we we can achieve too many things. So that is that is a very good thing. And it's very good that you are able to see that. Yep, that's right, teacher. Very that's good. the reason that it's a special day. I guess that every every day is a special for me. That is true. Every day is special. Some days uh, they come more than others. Challenges. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we are kind of sad. Sometimes we're tired. Sometimes we're angry. Uh, I was watching. But, you know. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I believe that is the the life is is like that. So. Now we only have to to know how to manage. That is true. That is true. Uh, you know, uh, in Instagram, I was watching a video very interesting about there were many actors uh, together, famous people. I mean, it was Tom Hanks. It was um, a lot of people. And actually, Tom Hanks, he said something very interesting. He said, uh, I realized that everything passes, everything finishes. I mean, if you feel happy today, that passes. If you feel angry, that passes. If you feel sad, that passes. So you need to live the moment, right? Yeah. Enjoy even the bad things. Because, for example, when you are sick, when you feel very bad, then you really uh, know how important it is to be healthy, right? Yeah, that's right. So The very health is bad. Really, well, the help is one necessity for every single day. That is true. And sometimes we, I mean, we live healthy and we just don't care about that one. But whenever we are sick and we cannot do certain things, then we 
we know how important is what we already have, right? Yeah, that's right. Very good. So, and uh, how is your job going? I, I know that you work in a call center, right? So how is everything going? Yeah. Like that? I'm a really nice teacher because uh, I was promoted to one position that I only only have to gather in some information from some accounts. And then I have to create some files to present to the main client. So it's really nice because I can uh, explain whatever uh, situation that they that I gather. Very good, very nice. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's a very good idea to move on. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy that you are able to, to do that one. How long have you been in this position? Uh, almost a year. That's very good. Uh, I yeah. guess at this point, you enjoy this one, but you already started in the next step, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I enjoy uh, my position now, but I'm thinking to move on. Very good. So... Uh, when are you planning to to actually start moving on? When my company launched the opportunity, I will, uh, right. I will, uh, um, I will submit my resume. Definitely, and I yeah. guess that uh, do you always do like a test and in an interview or just the interview? Yeah. No, I first of all uh, we make a test and then we have one interview. Definitely. And of course, yeah. for you to apply, you have to have all your KPIs on goal, right? Yeah, that's right. Very good, very interesting, nice. Yeah. And uh, the the data that you present uh, is that in a weekly basis, in a monthly basis? Uh, they have a weekly, monthly, and daily basis. Daily, so, okay, so. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I work Monday to Friday, and I have a meeting with a client uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. So, yeah, it yeah. seems that you're very busy. Yeah, most of the time. We are uh, talking with uh, the TLs, NOMs, so gathering some important information, uh, maybe to know uh, why someone uh, or yeah someone not calling a show or something like that. I see. And of course, since you are creating reporting, you use some tools. Which which tools do you yeah. use? I mean, it's just Excel. Excel or is the base. Uh -huh. Excel is the base. Yeah, definitely. So you run some scripts and uh, yeah. analyze data with the graphics and things like that. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Very interesting. I really love Excel. You know, that is amazing. You can do Ooh. a lot you can of do things. a lot. Of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. That is true. Okay. With a pile of table and a lot. A lot thing. Yeah. I mean, and it's very easy. Sometimes it takes a while yeah. for you to to build the things, but whenever you know what to do, that is going to be very easy. And the important thing is that you are able to analyze things and to understand what's going on, right? Yeah, that's right. With a lot of charge, but it's piece of cake. Very good. That's nice. So you're a doctor of data. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Jose Wilfredo, for sharing. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Now we're going to go uh, with David. Hello, David. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Perfect. Perfect. So... Uh, are you still on vacation in the school or are you already back on <laughs> back in I business? like to, but no, I am I am working now. Yeah. I, I start working on, on Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Yeah. That yes, is right. yes, yes. Very good. So and uh you say that you teach like kids, right? How old are the kids that you are teaching by now? Teenagers, teenagers from eighth to eleventh grade. But I am in charge of the last uh, high school grade, the 11th grade. Oh, I am the, the, the coordinator of that, of that class. And I have the opportunity to give them some advices of uh, the future, about the future. Yeah. Actually, I believe that that job is a very important thing because 
kids, teenagers, sometimes they they need they need somebody to to guide them, right? Of course, they have their partners, but sometimes another thing. I mean, sometimes I believe that one thing that you say sometimes they, it changes their life. So that is a very very important part. Yes, and and uh, there is a there is a problem because the parents are are conscious about the needs of the little kids, but uh, when they they see this guy that are uh, uh, 14, 15, but uh, are bigger, uh, you see, he's an adult. <laughs> no, he's a kid. He's a kid, but he's, uh, he's bigger. And, but uh, in, in her mind, he's, he's, he's a, a kid. And, and, and uh, they need, uh, they have needs, but there is nobody in, in their family that, that uh, pay attention to them. That is I, I want. I, I want to show you this day was a special day with them because they received their jackets, their shirt of the promotion. And oh. here uh, with all of the kids, they did the, the, the last grade, the 11th grade. And they are uh, using his, his jacket, his shirt uh, of the promo. And uh, it is something important for them, and they feel happy with uh, with this uh, situation. And, and it's a uh, uh, I like I like to work with with kids. I, I like to work with teenagers. I like I I learn from them. All of them, they 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 teach me many many things, and I can teach it some things to them. When you see that you are the who knows the most, you are lost. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the, the learning is, uh, uh, is uh, everything, everything are learned, everything. And, and now the, the kids have the information. If, if I give an equation, there are many, many software, many apps that solve an equation. And they don't need a teacher, they don't need a procedure, they don't, they don't need a they need how to think. This is the important. And if you don't know that, uh, you get frustrated because if you one day do something in some way, it is the past. There are no specific way to do something. And not now. There are many things. In, in this pandemic time, teach us that there is no uh, 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 a proper thing, a proper way to do something. Always is emerging new ways to do things. Be open mind in that in that situation. You are so right, and yeah, uh, I believe that that age is is very nice, but it's also kind of difficult, right? Yes. Of course, it's difficult. It's more difficult for some other than other kids. Uh, and you are right. Sometimes parents they forget, right? They forget that you were a kid, and that you had some questions at that time. Uh, and we are, I mean, focus on on the job and many things, and we forget about that one. Uh, and since you are there with the kids, all all maybe more than their parents sometimes, um, yeah, you realize, you realize that, um, uh, they are they need something. Sometimes they need love. Sometimes they need understanding. Sometimes they need somebody to listen to them. I mean, there are different things different things that uh, we need at that time. At this time also we need things, but we we know many other things, so we know what to do or what not to do. But at that time, we don't know almost anything, right? So, and bad influences also can catch you. So that is a, a risk nowadays. And actually there is a question I want to ask you. Do you believe, do you believe that nowadays is easier to be a teenager or is uh, more difficult than in other times in the past? I think it's the most difficult time to be a teenager. It's the most difficult time. There are many, many information, and uh, 
I, I, I have only way when I was a kid many, many, many years ago, all of the adult people was spending of you. All of the people, all of the people give you advice, all of the people uh, try to give direction to you. But now, no, you can talk to a, a, a strange kid, you, you know, you know, you, you let them, and uh, it doesn't matter what is he or she doing. And uh, uh, they have a um, uh, that they, they feel that they are informed, that they know everything because they have all of the information. And they think that they know and, and don't realize that, that uh, they need uh, the, the, the advice of uh, adult people. And it is a difficult, difficult time. There are so many ways to lose your time so many ways to 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 lose your it, it, I, I see i compared the 10 years ago i can talk to to the students and they have many vocabulary they they have many words but now they don't understand the words because they the the first uh, communication with days are emojis or uh, abbreviation BBF and, and, and the, 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 they don't understand a, a serious conversation and you need to talk to them to explain the world to get patient with them but it is a very very difficult time to meet you okay yeah I totally agree with you I mean yeah there are a lot of things that they uh, I mean they can do study is not one of that <laughs> and uh and yeah also it's very interesting what you said that some in the past the adults they come with us and they sit down and say you need to do this and listen to this and now it's like i mean if you are not uh, bothering me you do whatever you want so uh, not good right that is not good at all but that's the way it is and the problem is that sometimes teachers are the ones that have to lead with that one so Sometimes teachers, they they help in those things that are very, very important. I mean, parents, they continue providing food and providing shelter and things that, that are very important, but not the understanding. And sometimes that is even more important at that age. So it is, it's difficult. And uh, the students suffer more, more stress. Uh, I don't know, you are, you are joking, but when I was a kid, I go to the street, I go to the river, I go to the field, I, I, I go up to the trees, I, I go to the mountains, and uh, we don't have problems. We run uh, in all of the town. But this guy only in the video games, they stay in a little, in a little room, in a little, no matter how big what the house, but uh, it's a little space. And uh, we have all of the state to, to run, to play football, to, to do many things. They, they are a lot of stress. Yeah, you are right. And also, I, I believe, I mean, I was thinking that, I mean, in, at this time in humanity is... Uh, I mean, where we have access to all the information that we want, we can learn anything. But we use technology and all these resources for many other things, but not for learning things. So uh, it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. So let's hope for the better in the future, right? But because, yeah, I believe that this is happening, is in progress, that every generation is more lost in other things that the, the the past. So what is going to happen to the world? That is a question that I wonder a lot. But we can do our best, right? <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Davey, for sharing with us. Okay, anybody else wants, uh, wants to share uh, something about your day or your job? To be honest with you, I I sent a question to David because I I like to know 
what is the secret to have a patient with a lot of uh, teenagers? Well, in my case, I have a kid and he is around 11 years old. And this time is very difficult. And I don't know how you can uh, get a lot of patients with a lot of teenagers. From the, the it's a crazy <laughs> time. Yes, it, it's a difficult situation because uh, the parents uh, talk to me and say, I can deal with one. And you deal with uh, 20 with. Uh, the, there are, there are some, some advice, important advice. The first time is uh, to make clear rules. Clear rules. There are clear rules and you need to, to follow these rules, uh, starting with you. If you you say the students or say the kids that you give a reward, give a reward. But if you say that you give a punish, give a punish. Your word needs to be the law. That you what you see, what you say is what you do. And you don't need to 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 say yes. <laughs> you don't need to, to no. It's clear rule. The the, the 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 students understand the rules and they follow the rules. And, and, but it, it, it is to be clear. But it is when we are happy, we do someone. Uh, we are not happy, we do another one. It, it is mm. not clear for it. They need clear directions. Clear direction. They need authority. The authority don't need to 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 scream or to to shoot. No. You need to talk uh, with the. Uh, you you don't need to 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 attach or to connect the love with the something to do. No, the love is everything. You love them everything, or every time, whatever they do, you love them. Mm -hmm. But you need to correct the way. You need not uh, to uh, not to not to get a. Uh, uh, Titles or, 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 or uh, uh, I don't know, etiquetas. Uh, uh, Label. Uh, yes, you don't need, you are a bad kid. No, nobody is a bad kid. You are a good kid, pero do something bad. It is important to separate the, the kid from the action. And you punish the action, but you not, don't punish the kid. You punish the action. This, you need to correct this procedure. And when you do okay. this, this things in, in, in this way, they are uh, conducting in the correct way. <laughs> we need another session to, to do more things. <laughs> Please, I need, to, I need to learn a lot. <laughs> Every, everybody needs to learn. Yeah, yes. everybody. <laughs> yeah, you are very right. I mean, uh, I have a kid as well and you know, he's very nice. I believe first of all that all, not all the kids are the same. With some kids, I mean, you need to have some strategy and with other kids, another strategy will work. For my kid, what really worked, it was communication. I mean, uh, since he was a kid, a little kid, he had a lot of questions and I answered all the questions. If I didn't know, I, I went and looked for the answer and I, I said, let's sit down and let's, uh, let's go and look into that one together, right? You need to answer all the questions. And actually, I'm very proud of him because he is one of those kids that he he learns about the universe. He learns about psychology. He learns about many things. I mean, he plays video games and things like that, but sometimes he he's sick of that and he goes and learns things. Because since when he was a kid, I used to answer all these questions. Uh, he's hungry for knowledge and he continues by himself now. So that is a very good thing. And another thing that I did is I never lied to him. I mean, when, for example, he, when he was like six years old, he asked me about sex. I explained the whole thing. Everything. The thing is, the thing is that right now, you know, uh, social media is a problem. And if you give advice, they always are looking uh, something in TikTok, Instagram, or something like that. So they... I think that they sometimes prefer looking uh, at videos 
like that after consulting you. You are right, but uh, what I did at that point is that I made him understand that what he watches there on the media, that is entertainment. I mean, it's not the whole truth, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, for example, when I explained about sex, I, I didn't I explain only about sex. I explained also about love, right? That is linked, that you don't have, he's a boy and he doesn't have to damage girls. But he also has to be careful about some girls that can damage him and that he is too small to have a girlfriend right now. But whenever he's ready, he can come to me and ask me questions. I mean, if you if you approach with him and, and you are confident enough that he understands that you are telling something that is like the truth, even if he sees other things, he will know that that is entertainment, that that is not truth. So he will be able to then decide by himself what to do so that is a very good thing and it's a very good topic that we can actually discuss i mean i believe that everybody if you have kids or if you want to have kids everybody has a, a good advice um mm -hmm. I, I i mean love is probably the most important thing if you love your kid uh, you are going to try to do the best but then you need to reflect that in your actions with that person that that is a real person it's not just your kid and you are not the boss. You are like uh, the, the uh, sometimes a very good friend, the best friend, sometimes, you know. Yes, you are the authority, but they need to be confident. They need to trust you. So that is a very important part of life. Okay. And uh, David is, tr uh, is also true. I mean, we need more time for this kind of, conversation it's good, very good because we are able to discuss things that at, i mean it's not only english right we really we really go beyond that one so nice okay we're going to check the attendance and then let's go to bed ana claudia gonzalez velasquez david samuel galdames monterosa present teacher good dora elizabeth flores mendez present good Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. For you is the 101 today. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Present, teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejia. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, good night. Good night. So everybody, it was a pleasure to be with you uh, tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well and see you tomorrow. Dreaming English. Present teacher, Ana Claudia. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ah, perfect. Good night, everybody. Bye, thank you. Have a good night. Hello, Osmin. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, so far, so good. So far, okay. so good. Very nice. I'm very happy to hear that one. So, of course, you have experience on the one ones And the first question I want to ask you is, uh, how do you feel that you're moving on? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are getting something? Uh, yes, teacher. But so just the, the one thing that I had to provide is like probably with, with my schedule, right? So it's no good, right? Because I'm not putting like I'm not putting attention, I'm not paying attention, right, for all of the class. So, but I think so that when I have my my day off, of course. So I take my time to to stay here, so learning, right? Because it's uh, so important. 
and it's really nice. So when, when I have time that I don't have calls, so I try to understand so the questions that you are talking about, so, and, and it's really interesting. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah, I, I totally understand. So that happens sometimes. I mean, I have seen some, some people that they are driving their car from their work and also in the class. I know that. I mean, you have lots of other activities. Uh, but whenever yes. you have the chance, of course, it's a very good idea. And check uh, if you check the platform, you will be able to see the topics. Uh, if you uh, have the time to see the videos, it's fine. Or you can also research on those so you can move on. Oh yes, so actually, so something that I'm improving now so is that I'm looking for some new vocabulary because, as you know, so like getting the same conversation every single day, so it's a lack of like information that we are like probably lost, lost in right. So and sometimes it's really nice to like get up to date. Yeah, definitely, that is a very good thing that you can do. So. If you continue learning, I mean, even when we finish the classes, you you will be able to continue learning. That that will be for sure. Okay, she yes. asked. Uh, do you have any question, anything that you have uh, questions about in the platform or uh, from the topics that we have checked? Oh, no, no, for now, no. So everything is okay. Okay, perfect. So remember that if you have any questions, you can chat with me directly or in the group or in class, you can ask any question and it will be a pleasure to help you. Oh, okay, sure. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Oh, it's a pleasure. So, see you tomorrow and have a good night. See you, sure. Good night. Good night.